With one and a half billion approximately tyres coming to the end of life each year, it can be a bit of an arduous task, never mind an environmental catastrophe, learning to deal with these. And whilst the content of this blog is dealing with one particular uh, engineer and his plans to produce a 100% recyclable product, I thought I would look at a couple of other uses of tyres. And funnily enough, and most ironically, one of the main uses of tyres is actually putting them back into their place on roads themselves. And, you know, uh, not far from where I grew up in Easter House, there's one enterprising landowner who's had to put up with people dumping their rubbish at the side of the road, has collected a whole load of end-of-life tyres and has began to use them to cut off the side of the road to stop cars being able to pull up and park. With one and a half billion tyres reaching end of life every single year, there just seems to be too many lying around. And you know, some people have used very, very creative ways to try and deal with this problem. And if we just swing around here, you see here that local landowners, Paul and Christine, have got some end of life tyres and they're using them to stop people trying to dump one other type of rubbish. It's a problem that needs resolving. Another one that we've seen springing up since the pandemic is the use of tyres to separate cycle tracks, these new cycle tracks coming up eh, from, from the normal route of the road where the tyres themselves are embedded in. Crookston Road in Glasgow is one particularly good example of this and actually one of the few that looks very, very professional in how it's done. And y y you know, it's interesting all the different uses we talk about all the many, many different ways that tyres have to be recycled from the attempts to draw fuel out of them into them being recycled rubber and plastic and everything else. But the most ironic for me is end-of-life tyres finding another use on roads in this way.